What's up everybody, it's Tim from Full Spectrum Laser. Today I'm going to go over how to engrave monograms. Now we did a quick video on the monogram feature, kind of showcasing how it works and what you can do with it. Uh, we have had a couple of questions on how to engrave, and it is just a few extra steps, but I figured I'd go over that. Uh, today I'm going to be going, I'm going to be using our demo software since we're not actually going to be using the machine. That can be accessed on our website, fslaser.com. Uh, which is where I'm at right here, and we're going to go to software, and we're going to try now. All right, there we go. We're going to hit OK. Okay, so the monogram feature is up here. It is this fancy looking A right here. So we're going to click that. We can choose uh, the font and like style, uh, and then we can choose our letter. So we'll just do my name. Uh, so this is, we're picking the big letter and then we can choose the text that we want inside of it. So we'll just do my name, click OK, and it will generate the vector file that is the monogram. Now typically when you bring in a vector image uh, into RE3, you can just do an infill. Uh, the problem here is that Oftentimes, the monograms are multiple different paths. So, we're going to uninfill that. And basically, what we have to do is we have to uh, subtract all of this because it's all one piece. So, we're going to click this guy. Actually, we're going to infill it just so we can see what we're doing. So, it's one big image. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to select the outside shape. That's the shape of everything. And uh, basically what we're going to do is I can just give you a quick example. Uh, if we hover over all of these paths on the left in our Layers tab, we can see all that negative space that isn't getting picked up by the infill. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the Subtract Union tool. So uh, just to show basically what it does, uh, we have the entire outside shape selected. I'm going to control click this first path, which is that O. And we're going to go up here and hit subtract. And there it goes. It just gets rid of that shape. So um, we can actually do this all together. Um, we're going to click our compound shape. And then we're going to shift click the last one. So we have everything selected. And now we're going to do the exact same thing. And it might take a second. Uh, the software is thinking, and then there we go. We have everything all cut out, ready to go. Um, now, if we don't want this to cut out, we can turn this infill on, and then we're going to hit no outline. Uh, we should probably, yep, there we go. So clicking the no outline will make sure that it doesn't cut out. It's just going to do a vector infill. If we don't want a vector infill, we can just rasterize the whole thing. And now it is just a black and white image, raster image, that you can engrave on whatever you like. So I hope that helps you guys. If you have any more questions about it, just uh, leave a question in the comments and we'll get back to you. Otherwise, you can send us a private message on Facebook or reach out to us on our website. Uh, thanks guys for watching, and until next time, keep baking.